Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Hat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. A lot of exciting stuff to talk about these days. Gotta start with the DC guys because there's always all kinds of rebirth news. This is your latest issue of Detective Comics. And this is your latest issue of Action Comics. These two have reverted to their original 1930s numbering. That was Detective 935. That's Action 958. This is Wonder Woman number one. Not really sure why she didn't get returned to her original numbering, but this is the first issue of the new ongoing of Greg Rucka and Liam Sharp. You can bring this one in on July 15th and get it signed by Liam Sharp, but more on our pre-Comic-Con Comic-Con a little later. This is your first issue of Flash and of Aquaman, starting the new bi-weekly ongoings. All kinds of exciting stuff going on with these Rebirth books, so if there's any that have gotten by you, make sure you pick them up, because they're going fast. This is your last issue of Justice League, number 52. Well, the last issue before the Justice League Rebirth. You'll want to read this one before Action Comics. The cover pretty much says it all, doesn't it? And your last issue of Robin's Son of Batman. That book's been real popular lately, so as this is the final issue, you might want to grab them up and see what all the hubbub's been about. And your last issue of Cyborg. Lots of first issues and last issues this week. Your last issue of Suicide Squad Most Wanted with Deadshot and Katana. That's been really cool as well. And a couple that will keep going, like... Harley Quinn, not your last issue of Harley Quinn, which probably makes a lot of people happy as she's probably the second biggest character behind Batman these days. And Teen Titans, also not your last issue of Teen Titans. Cool Mizor Mala cover there. Don't see him too often with the brain. Cool stuff. Big week for the Marvel guys, as always. Lots of stuff going on with their Civil War 2. This is Civil War 2 Choosing Sides, the first issue of the new mini, a lot like Gods of War and Amazing Spider-Man and X-Men and all that other good stuff. And a few other Civil War books like Sam Wilson, Captain America, clearly my book of the week because you all know I'm a big Cap fan. Ultimates number eight. Cool Thanos cover there. That's your Black Panther book this week. And totally awesome Hulk number seven rounds out your Civil War II stuff for the week. Cool Alan Davis cover there. You're an old schooler like me. You love Alan Davis. Doctor Strange, Marvel's next big movie star. This book has been super popular, so if you've been holding out on it, grab this latest issue. This is part four of your uh, Last Days of Magic stuff. Deadpool and Gambit number one. She can't get enough of either one of those guys. And how about the women of Marvel? Let's talk Mighty Thor or Miss Marvel or Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. If you're not following this book, you really should grab the uh, timely number one reprint because this book's been a lot of fun and it's flying under a lot of people's radar. It's got a giant dinosaur for crying out loud. What more do you want? Gwenpool. And my favorite, The Scarlet Witch. Rounds out your Women of the Marvel Universe stuff. The Scarlet Witch book has been a lot of fun. So gra again, grab the uh, timely number one reprint and catch up. Because that one, along with Vision, is uh, gaining a lot of steam. So you want to see what the hubbub's about. Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot. And Drax are your Guardians of the Galaxy books for the week. And Nighthawk number two is your Squadron Supreme tie-in book of the week. Everybody likes Nighthawk. Power Man and Iron Fist, another book that might be flying under your radar. It's been a lot of fun. And Web Warriors and Carnage about your only spider books of the week. Besides a big old Carnage trade that's out this week. Reprints all his first appearances and such. And Star Wars Force Awakens, number one. This is your movie adaption. Another one of the uh, Marvel minis that they have with all their Star Wars stuff. Always encouraging you guys to check out all the different Star Wars books. Good art in this one. So I know it's a movie adaption. You know how it's going to roll, but 
Cool story, cool art. That's what comics is all about. Great week for all the other guys, too. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is your Whedonverse book of the week. Everybody loves some Whedonverse. And Tomb Raider, along with Usagi Ojimbo are my Dark Horse books of the week. If you don't know what Usagi Ojimbo is, you should really pick up this latest issue or grab the original trade paperback. One of the most unique and awesome books in all of comics. Definitely does not get enough attention. Really, really cool stuff. Excellent samurai books. Thief of Thieves and Pretty Deadly are your image books of the week, along with She-Wolf. She-Wolf is your first issue, gotta have it, image book of the week. Lots of cool stuff from the other guys too. James Bond is my dynamite book of the week because he's awesome. I'm always talking up what a great job Dynamite does with all their licensed property stuff, like this one, Red Sonia, that's also out this week. Everybody should have a Dynamite book on their list. Action Man is my IDW book of the week. Action Man is super cool. If you're not 100 years old like me, you don't remember the old Action Man action figures, but it's a great concept from back in the day, and it's really cool to see him in comics. Good job, IDW. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is your Boom Studios book of the week because you love the MMPR. And Archie, been talking up the great job they're doing with their, uh, well, I don't want to say mature reader, don't want to say all ages, your PG-13 kind of stuff, I guess. There's Archie, there's Jughead, Betty and Veronica is right around the corner. Kind of neat to see them in a more standardized comic format for older readers. Love me some Archie stuff. Pretty small week for the kids' books. Looney Tunes is all I've got for you for the all-ages stuff. But I love me some Looney Tunes. Love me some Daffy Duck. Lots of great stuff. So check those shipping lists. Get down to your local shop. Pick up something super awesome. Want to talk about our grand reopening and the pre-Comic-Con Comic-Con. It's right around the corner, just a few weeks away. July 13th through the 17th. Lots of fun stuff going on each night, all week, from Wednesday to Sunday. Uh, we've got the signing with uh, Liam Sharp and Mick Gray. They're coming down to sign your Wonder Womans and your Supermans. Uh, we've got a swap meet. We've got movie night. We've got the grand opening. All kinds of fun stuff going on. So make sure you check the events page at blackcatcomics.biz. Read the newsletter, check out the Facebook page, uh, keep up with the podcast, all the fun stuff that we do here, because you don't want to miss out. You want to be here all five days, or at least one of them, uh, so make sure you check out all the events for each day and get on down here, because it's going to be tons of fun, July 13th to the 17th. That's the Black Cat Comics Rockin' Milpitas pre-Comic-Con Comic-Con. That's all I got for you for this week. You can check us out at Facebook, check us out at blackcatcomics.biz, check out our cool YouTube channel, or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.